Welcome to battle number seven of week number seven of the FNF Victory Road Draft League season three. This battle is going to be pitting Benji and the Southern Shuckles versus F Witch and Alakazamalot. The Mega Pokemon available in this battle is going to be Mega Alakazam on Alakazamalot. And then we also have Z Attack Raichu and Z Attack Drudagon respectively. So let's take a look at this team. It's pretty interesting. We have the uh, bulky core of Tangrowth and Vaporeon. Uh, Shuckle setting up hazards, I assume. Kurem, pretty bulky attacker. And then we have the electric terrain core, of course. And then on Fingered Witch's team, we have kind of a bulky attacking feel overall. The only really fast attacker is Alakazam. The rest of them all have some bulk to them and can hit pretty hard. So it's looking like it's going to be pretty interesting. Uh, Magnazone is going to be very hard, I think, for Benji to take on because nothing really hurts it that much except Earth Power from Kyurem, but it's risky because Kyurem has to be mindful of Flash Cannon. So um, yeah, I'm curious to see how this goes. Um, definitely curious to see how that Electric Terrain Core does as well. It seems like there's a lot of Pokemon that they might have trouble breaking past. Um, but a nasty plot right here goes a long way, so we'll see how that goes. Um, also curious to see what Alakazam will trace. Um, and yeah, overall it's going to be a fun battle, so let's see how it goes and let's begin. In terms of leads, I'm definitely shink thinking... <laughs> shinking. <laughs> In terms of leads... I am definitely thinking Shuckle for Benji. It seemed to be a really good lead for him last battle, in which it set up Stealth Rock and also Sticky Webs. Um, for F Witch, they have a lot of different leads to choose from. Uh, Drudagon has been a very good lead for them as well. Um, with Taunt, for example, or firing off powerful Z moves. Um, so it's going to be interesting to see how the lead situation is in this battle. We also are seeing Lurantis for the first time um, and Dusk Noir, which were two exchanges that were made on Alakazam a lot. Um, uh, Torterra and Dusclops were exchanged respectively. So excited to see how that works out. Uh, Lurantis was a Pokemon that um, Fingered Witch has used in Season 1 and Season 2 as well. So going back to the basics, Barefoot Contessa. Alright, here's Kyurem and Magnezone Ukanlos versus Rita. Magnezone, of course, can hit Kyurem very hard with a Flash Cannon, and Earth Power can't hit it. So I'm, I'm thinking we might see a switch right off the bat. I'm thinking maybe a switch into... Tangrowth. Yeah, Benji's team seems to struggle with Magnezone quite a bit. And Raichu isn't really bulky enough. Like, it resists Flash Cannon, but it's not bulky enough to want to switch into one, especially since it can't do much to Rita. So Magnezone goes for that Flash Cannon, breaking that substitute from Ukonlos, who's now at 82%. And in comes Astalos, the Tapu Koko. Rita goes for the Flash Cannon again. It's going to do 45% to Astalos. And Electric Terrain is now up. Magnezone can benefit from that Electric Terrain as well. So there's a Volt Switch on Rita. That's going to pop the Balloon. And in comes Raichu, Alola, Rajang. That Flash Cannon's going to do 25% to Rajang. And I'm wondering what Raichu, Alola plans on doing versus Magnezone. Maybe it has... Uh, I'm not sure if it gets Focus Blast, actually. We shall see. 
And in comes Cookie the Alakazam. There's a nasty plot going up. Oh, and interestingly, Alakazam could actually trace Raichu's uh, ability, which is um, which allows it to be very fast in electric terrain and go before Raichu Alola. So in comes Vaporeon meets Mizutsune, and the ability this time trace was Water Absorb. The Shadow Ball is going to bring Vaporeon down to 89%. There's a taunt from Cookie, and Vaporeon cannot use Toxic after that taunt. Vaporeon is stuck in a predicament because it is versus Water Absorb Cookie. There's a Psychic, and it's going to hit Atal Ka pretty hard. Of course, Shuckle is probably going to be prone to taunt. And indeed, there's that taunt on Shuckle. Shuckle goes for the knockoff. It only does 15% though. Yeah, Shuckle's not very, not really known for its attacking. So something's gonna have to switch in. But what? It looks like it's Tapu Koko who switches in. And there's a Focus Blast that's going to hit pretty decently hard, bringing Tapu Koko down to 16%. We might see a Volt Switch into Raichu Alola again. It's actually Vaporeon who comes in. And there's a Psychic that's going to bring Vaporeon down to 65%, 71% now. And there's that Taunt from Cookie. Mizutsune can't wish after that Taunt. Mega Alakazam is in full control right now. Shuckle comes back in, and there's the Psychic bringing Shuckle down to 23%. The Contrary, interestingly, is going to raise its special defense instead of lowering it. So that was actually good for Shuckle because it looks like a Psychic would have actually KO'd, but now I'm not sure if it would KO. So we might see the taunt from Mega Alakazam one more time against this Shuckle. And no Toxic from Shuckle. That Psychic is going to bring Atalka down to 10% and the knockoff does little damage to Cookie. Mega Alakazam really putting in work in this match. Shuckle is left without much to do. And the Psychic takes out Atalka the Shuckle. The score is now 5-6 and Tapu Koko comes in. The Psychic takes out Tapu Koko as well. Score is now 4-6. And Raichu Alola comes in. Thunderbolt is going to take out Cookie. And the score is now 4-5. Mega Alakazam definitely put in work into that battle. Rajang at 75% health. And in comes Paintu the Dusk Noir, frisking for the Allo Raichu Neum Z. And there's that Z move right there. The Stoke Spark Surfer is going to hit hard, bringing Paintu down to 19% and paralyzing it, but the Earthquake hits Rajang, taking it out. The score is 3-5. Paintu now at 25% and in comes Kira. Kira actually looks like it could be very deadly in this matchup with a substitute up, but it goes for the substitute, uh, sorry, for the Shadow Ball versus Paintu, and now the score is 3 4. In comes Rita the Magnazone. And Vaporeon comes in. The Flash Cannon hits, but it doesn't do that much damage. And there goes that Electric Terrain. A Wish is now up for Vaporeon and is brought down to 11%. 
and the protect on Vaporeon allows it to successfully get that wish. Now it's 73%. There's another wish going up and another Thunderbolt. Mizutsune is stalling out to try and get to full HP. Or maybe Kuren will switch in now. No, actually, Vaporeon goes for the Protect, and there's the Magnet Rise from Rita. In comes Tangrowth, and Rita goes for the Thunderbolt. It's going to do 40%. Magic Coat is up, and there's the Protect, but it does not work. Interesting scout for the potential Leech Seed or Sleep Powder. Yamasumaki at 72%, Rita at 73 That Thunderbolt does 35% to Yamasumaki, who goes for the Leech Seed. And that Leech Seed is going to sap Rita of a little bit of health. There's that Protect. And Thunderbolt also uh, going to be blocked by Protect. Rita is still seeded. And in comes N Niti, or Nid Nitty, the Nido King. The Protect on Yamasumaki is going to scout out the Sludge Wave. Yamasumaki now at 98%. And in comes Vaporeon to take that Sludge Wave. It's going to bring it down to 50%, 56 after Leftovers. The Thunderbolt brings Mizutsune down to 15%. And there's that wish going up yet again. And the Protect. Mizutune is consistently getting those wishes and Protects up. Another Thunderbolt brings Mizutune down to 34%. And it looks like Mizutune is just trying to continually wish and Protect. In comes Judagon Puzzo, the Judagon. And Tangrowth comes in. There's the Dragon Tail on Tangrowth, and Vaporeon is switched in. Vaporeon now at 100%. And Tangrowth comes in at full HP because of that regenerator. Thunder Punch is not going to do much to Tangrowth, though. And the Leech Seed will miss. There's the Dragon Tail on Puzzo, causing Vaporeon to come back in. And Tangrowth comes in again, that regenerator. Dragon Tail again, and there's Kyurem this time. Ukanlos, who's actually pretty comfortable right now, might go for the Ice Beam. He actually goes for the Substitute. The Earthquake fades that Substitute. And the Ice Beam hits hard. Puzzo now at 23%, and the Earthquake brings Ukanlos down to 39%. 45 after those leftovers. And the Ice Beam takes out Puzzo. Score is now 3-3. Three, three. In comes Rita the Magnezone. And Tangrowth comes in at 100%. The Flash Can is going to bring Tangrowth down to 35%. 41 after Leftovers. There's that Protect. Tangrowth switching out into Vaporeon. Vaporeon goes, uh, comes in, and it's at 94% now. The Wish goes up, and there's the Magnet Rise on Rita.
Yamasumaki comes in taking that Thunderbolt. It's going to bring it down to 90, uh, sorry, 40, but after the wish, it is back to 100%. The Flash Cannon bringing Yamasumaki to 30%. Now it is, uh, it has a Leech Seed successfully on Rita. Again with the Protect. Yamasumaki now at 64%, Rita at 24%. And Vaporeon comes in. The Flash Cannon hitting Vaporeon, not doing much damage. And Lorantis comes in, Spinelu. The Protect is going to fail versus Spinelu. And Tangrowth comes in. Spinelu sets up a substitute. And Spinelu has leftovers. So the score is now 3-3. Three, three. And there's the knockoff, it's going to fade that substitute. The superpower allows Spinelu to raise its attack and its defense stats. The knockoff now successfully removes leftovers and another superpower is going to hit a little harder this time, again raising Spinelu's attack and defense. The Giga Drain does not much damage to Spinelu, who goes for another superpower, consistently gaining more stats. Yamasumaki now at 55%. Another Giga Drain only doing 11% to Spinelu, and that superpower is going to bring Yamasumaki down to 22%. There's the Protect from Yamasumaki. A superpower won't hit this time. Giga Drain does only a little bit of damage, and Spinelli goes for that superpower, taking out Yamasumaki. In comes Ukanlos, the QRM. And the Ice Beam is enough to take out Spinelli. Ukanlos now at 57%. In comes Nitty, the Nido King. And the Ice Beam takes out Nitty. Score is now 2-1. Magnazone is the last Pokemon standing. And the Shadow Ball takes out Rita the Magnazone, and the score is 2-0 in favor of Benji and the Southern Shuckles over F Witch and Alakazam a lot. Very intense match. Lots of uh, stalling with that defensive core Benji has. Um, really interesting defensive plays. Um, yeah, really, really interesting match. And we have one more match of week seven coming up. So stay tuned for that one. Until then, this is Noel from Hypno Slumber Party, and I'll see you then.